Israel's military response has gone too far. Our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Vivian Balakrishnan, has landed a bomb row. So have you all really paid attention to how events can metamorphosize from a short period of time? Being from MOE giving out packages to schools for kids to discuss about the Israel-Hamas conflict and then now it become a parliament topic. Even our Minister of Foreign Affairs is involved in it. The catastrophic situation in Gaza demands an immediate humanitarian ceasefire to alleviate the unbearable suffering. See, I like this one. Stern. Kasi sama dia lah, brother. Give him kau-kau lah. Kau lah one time ah, eh. Of the civilian victims and to enable humanitarian assistance to reach them. Because Israel was bombing Gaza. I did mention in my previous videos, right? So we call out on a ceasefire. And then a good initiative by Singapore, which we are involved, is giving out humanitarian aids, okay, to the civilians down there. Then can someone explain to me now, what the fuck is this clip all about? I'm going to roll the clip. And another appalling Same. war crime Same. that will, of course, Same. receive cover by the United States government. Israeli forces fired on a crowd of Palestinian civilians who were crowding a humanitarian aid truck desperately seeking food in northern Gaza. This one uh, the analogy uh, for us Singaporean. Uh, like, ama apa logic, uh, basic one. Uh, you do open house, then you call your family and friends to makan. Then on their food, right, you pour chlorok, but they still continue to makan. Uh. They never stop, no. They continue to makan, but you still pour chlorok. We have made our position clear. Both in my conversations with Israel and all our Arab friends and partners and at the UN. Okay guys, this seems to me it's like we're trying to upkeep bilateral relations with nations across the world. I want to know, we buy all this leverage, right? For what purpose actually? Is there detail here? Is it detailed here? I want to know, is it leaning towards whose influence in the first place? But for, for who? Economists? Capitalists? Or maybe we need to acquire certain resources that we Singapore are inadequate to even acquire for ourselves? I, I don't understand. It's not detailed here. I, I, I don't get it. We voted for the two UN General Assembly resolutions on the protection of civilians and upholding legal and humanitarian obligations which called for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Okay guys, I'm going to take an abstract uh, and put it here on top. Uh. You guys go read this. Read this on top. You understand the meaning or not? So it's like, at one period it's like, Hey brother, you need to severe this already. Boleh tahan eh brother. Then this one, Say one or eight, brother. Watch up, lah. Swa lah, brother. Some people have told me that's not enough. We want you to sever diplomatic ties with Israel. We call your ambassador. Wah, difficult already, ah. Me the high table cannot say anything already, ah. Eh, you go follow John Wick, not? Follow him, ah. Two state resolution, ah. Now I give you one man resolution. Everything he can settle for you. Engage in other performative diplomatic actions. Well, I need to tell everyone that we manage our international relations by remaining engaged with the international community and maintaining ties with as many countries as possible that are willing to maintain ties with us. I think we need to give credit to our minister. He also trying, he also Singaporean like us, buying leverage in terms of if a man in his position and it's not easy. The most important question after this turmoil, uh, after everything that's been heard, I want to know two things. Number one is, where is Singapore's position in all this thing? And the next most important question is, where is all this maneuvering headed to? I want to hear your thoughts and comments, guys, below.